Hello, everybody. <coughs> Welcome back to Norwegian 737 Project. There's a few things I want to show you. I installed the electrical panel and um, cabin pressure gauges. I want to just show you what happens. Look at this. Okay, let's connect the battery. And she comes alive. Um, so this transfer, everything's good. So let's see what the AP generator is. Nothing. Let's do you have ground power? No, nope. standby power. Uh, the battery voltage. Let's start the APU. We should get a low pressure light. There we go. Battery discharge. is coming alive. Hmm. Probably because no buses are connected. Let's just see. Get a blue light. There's our blue light. And the APU is generating. Buzz. Us. and we're good there's a cabin altitude landing altitude flight altitude these momentary switches needs to be done something with too slow uh, right so I'm sitting around Screwing around with ProSim, and I have a little bit of a problem with the ProSim audio. Uh, you turn the hydraulic switch on. Listen, listen to the battery sound. It's it's uh, running in the background right now. So I put hydraulic on. No, nope. here it is. And what happens if I turn hydraulic off? The battery sound is gone. I have no clue what. All right, so that's the overhead. Let me just show you this. Uh, this is my test switch. See the blue lights? They're dimming. I think I need to rewire this whole overhead to get the blue. Blue LEDs on their own circuits or their own board. But yeah, that's a, it works. Okay, let me show you something else. We film. We film it. All right. We got another package. Let me turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. And see what we got. It's my son. It's my son is shooting the video. So I had this package from, I, th I think it's in Germany. things that goes up to the overhead too. Well, let's see what we have. Oh, okay. That's the two sliding uh, potentiometers. I'm going to use that for for the yoke, yoke system, I think. So let's put these away. Now, what's this? That's one of the engine start switches. It's a clever bugger. It's going up on the front and the forward overhead. And let's see if I push it in. No, I need to switch on to be able to operate it. Or to be able to show you. It's very, there's a little solen solenoid that turns off the switch when uh, the N1 reaches 60%. Very clever invention from uh, same parts. And, uh, and that's the second one. See, that's the solenoid. Let's see if I can 
Oh, there we go. Oh, I could operate this. So when the engine reaches 56% N1, solenoid will click the, the switch back to zero. Back to off. Let's see what else is here. Yep. Landing light covers. Pretty good ones. I could have bought original switches, but I just bought these covers to put on my already finished overhead. And that's about it. That's about it. Alright, so that's one unpack. Unpacking done. Mm. And, uh, well, another video coming up to show you guys the flight management computers. Bye bye.